Hey, what's going on guys? Deanna from ModBot here. And a few months ago, I took a look at a resin from a company called Soraya Tech. It was this resin right here, which is their Soraya Tech Blue Resin. This was a really awesome resin because it uh, had high strength. And so a lot of the parts that I had been resin 3D printing were really brittle, but with this resin, I was able to actually make some functional parts out of it. And that was really, really cool. And similar to FDM 3D printing, when I first got into 3D printing like six years ago, the only things I really could get my hands on was PLA and ABS and fast forward six years and there is a ton of crazy different filaments from infused nylons to PTGs to polycarbonates to all sorts of TPUs and TPEs and like everything in between now and because resin 3D printing seems to be coming down in price and it's grown in popularity it feels like a ton especially in the last 12 months to uh, even a little bit longer now uh, there's more resins coming out and that is awesome for me and that is awesome for you because we've got more awesome resins to play around with and the price of resins is also going down and so today's video we're going to be looking at a different resin also from Soraya Tech but Tenacious. <music> So before I even get into the resin, let's go ahead and do a little bit of printing with it. What makes Soraya Tech Tenacious Resin so different? Why is it awesome? Well, I'm glad you asked. So what sets it apart is that it is actually a flexible resin or at least a semi-flexible resin. Um, it is the softest resin that I have printed out with ever before and it also has some pretty awesome strength to it, uh, which will be really unique for I'm sure all sorts of applications um, from anything that you would typically wanna do with a flexible uh, FDM 3D print, now you've got the option to do some of those things with the high detail uh, accuracy and resolution of a uh, resin based 3D printer. So for those of you that are interested in the specs, it has a 65D shore hardness, a tensile strength of 24 megapascals, a elongation at break at 75%, and a Young's modulus of 500 megapascals. So for anyone that just wants to know about the resin and what my experience has been like, Overall, prints have turned out really, really well. Um, I did a few different prints. I did one that was like, uh, I did a couple of minis, of course, got to do minis. Uh, I did a little bit of a taller mini. I did a tire because I thought that with the flexible feel that it could be really cool for tires. Uh, I did kind of what's equivalent to a ring. I did a 3D print of this bird that I hollowed out. And overall, I stuck with the same settings that I had used for the blue resin and for most of my standard resins. However, when I was printing out uh, parts that had I had hollowed out that had a hollow cavity, I noticed that there was a bit of sag and a little bit of droop. And so the way I was able to counter that for the most part was I increased the layer cure time ever so slightly. And I also made it where the wall thickness of the uh, 3D prints that I hollowed out were actually a bit uh, thicker than I would normally do just so that way it's got a bit more surface because uh, with resin 3D printing in general, when you take a print out of the printer, it's typically pretty gummy. And until you cure it, uh, you know, it's got that kind of sort of soft feel to it. Well, imagine that. And now imagine a flexible resin, which is 
gummy, even more gummy. So basically it's, it was interesting watching it print because there was times where I saw it pulling off the FEP and I can kind of see the print like flexing a bit, but um, I was really impressed with some of the quality and detail I was able to get off of this. I did a really cool, I believe it's Angus's uh, crazy torture test that he has for FDM printers. It's like a square. I can't think of what the heck it's called off the top of my head. Of course, it's slipping my mind, but I did that print. I did a couple other prints um, on this machine that I will show you guys all. So that way you guys can um, see for yourself kind of what the material looks like and how it squishes. I also did a drop test with this resin. I basically took a mini that was pretty much cured. I don't have, right now my cure station is down, so I had to use the light outside and it hasn't been exactly the brightest last few days. So uh, the parts are pretty much cured, but they might still get a little bit stiffer if you were to dry them with an actual UV curing chamber where it's getting more of a direct, uh, more intense UV light. Um, but I was able to drop a little miniature off of like regular carrying height or off of a table, have it hit the ground and basically bounce and not damage it at all, which is awesome. I mean, there's a little print that I have with a, a, a little banana knight holding a sword and I can press on the sword. And normally in a lot of the resin prints I have, it's got a really very narrow uh, point until it just snaps all together. On this one, it's so gummy that it just kind of like gums this way and then <laughs> flops backwards. So it's pretty awesome. And um, the price point on this, I think off the top of my head is somewhere around 55-ish US dollars. It could be a little more, a little bit less, but for a kind of unique resin with flexible properties and high, sh high strength, um, that to me is insane. That's really good. And I remember a time where resins were like, hundred plus dollars and now we've got some really cool resin that you can get for again a relatively affordable price it comes in uh two 500 milliliter bottles which is sweet so um i've got another bottle of this stuff that i'm not sure what i want to do with yet i'm trying to think of a cool project where i can actually um, use the flexible features of this uh, for something i don't know whether i want to do like a shell or what but if you've got any ideas let me know in the comments down below also, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. I'll, of course, I'll place a link for the resin if you want to find out more or purchase some of this stuff for yourself. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you do love the content, want to support the channel more, uh, links to Patreon channel will be in the description so you can check that out. I've got some really cool rewards and i um, super thankful for everyone that does decide to support the channel. As always, you guys are awesome. I love seeing all of the creations you guys are working on and getting all the really cool feedback from you guys. And on that note, I will see you guys in my next video. This has been Daniel from ModBot and I am out. Peace guys.